chapter 3.6, exercise 1 through 12. This section of the book, 3.6, has to do with the mathematics of finance. And so these problems have to do with calculating interest or how much money will accrue. So a real good, real-world use of exponential functions. So exercise 1 through 4, find the amount A accumulated after investing a principal P for T years, then interest rate R compound annually. Well, the basic formula is going to be A, or amount, equals the principal, capital P, of 1 plus R to the power of T. And this R is uh, stands for rate, and T is time, And P is the principal. And then A is going to be our final amount. So amount. So let's go ahead and apply this formula. So we have we have A is equal to our beginning amount, which is fifteen hundred dollars times 1 plus R. Now, the R is going to be 7% divided by 100. To get our rate, we divide our percentage by 100. So 1 plus 0 0.07. And to the power of T, and we're here having this T right here. And T is given as 6. Replace this T with 6. And so just kind of simplifying, we have 1,500 times 1.07 to the power of 6. So we can go our, to our calculator and put in 1,500 times 1.07 to the power of 6. And we have $2,251.10. OK, so that would be our amount. Next bottom problem. Three, quite similar. We have our formula amount equals principal one plus r to the power of t. And here we're given the amount equals our principal is twelve thousand dollars. And we have one plus well, this 7.5% is going to be 0 0.075 to the power of t, which is 7. So we'll go ahead and adding the 1 to the rate, we get 1.075 to the power of 7. And we go to our calculator, 12,000 times... 1.075 and that's going to be to the power of 7 and press enter we get It's going to be like a dollar sign there. Amount. So that's going to be our answer. Next, we're going to have next on our problem, which is five. 
The exercise of 538, find the amount A accumulated after investing a principal P for T years at interest rate R compounded K times per year. Well, this formula is a, is a little bit different. It's just the same formula, but with just an addition to it. It's going to be, we still have the amount is equal to the principal, but then we have 1 plus R over K to the power of KT. And sometimes I've seen this formula used instead of KN, but still this formula adjusts for compounding. Here we have K equals 4 in this problem, which means 4 times per year, or what we call quarterly. So applying the formula, we have our amount is equal to our starting amount, $1,500. Then we have 1 plus, well, R is going to be 0 0.07, and K is 4 to the power of KT. Well, that's going to be 4 times 5. And so you're, we're, we're getting the same number of years, 5, but what this does is accumulates more frequently and causes the amount to grow uh, proportionately more based on this formula. So let's go ahead and put this equation in the formula. We have 1,500 times 1 plus, let's see, 0 0.05, 0 0.07, okay, so 0 0.07, and we divide that by K, which is 4. And we take this to the power of, uh, we have 4 times 5, 4 times 5, or 20. And so this is the amount we're going to get, $2,122.17. dollars 17 cents. And let's see, 2122. It's 2122. 2122, yeah. I kind of mistranscribed here. 2122. 17 cents. Okay, next on our problem, which is 7. Same formula, we have, as for problem 5, we have our amount is going to be equal to our starting amount, 40,500 times 1, plus we have 0 0.038 over K, which is 12. K of 12 and then the power of kt, so it's going to be 12 times 20. What we're doing is we're compounding monthly. And so let's go ahead and apply the formula again. We have 40,000, let's see if I remember everything, 40,500. 40,500 times 1 plus 0 0.038 and we're dividing by k which is 12 and we raise this whole thing to the power of 12 which are compounding is k times 20 our number of years so we get 86,000 Four hundred and ninety-six dollars and thirty cents. And 
Let's get the dollar sign there. Make sure. So we have here. Eighty-six, four ninety-six, and twenty-seven cents. Thirty cents. Twenty-seven. Ah, okay. That'll be close enough. Okay, that's going to be our amount. Next on our problem, in exercises 9 through 12, find the amount A accumulated after investing a principal P for T years and interest rate R compounded continuously. Well, that's a different formula, and that has to do with the compounding continuously formula. And really, this was initially brought up by, I think it was Jacob Bernoulli who discovered this. And that formula is going to be A equals our principal. So, so far we have the same. Okay, our principal times E to the power of RT. So again, rate is going to be this, in this case, rate is going to be 0 0.054, and T is going to be six years. So in this case, our amount is our principal, which is $1,250 times E to the power of RT and R is point zero five four times six for T. So let's go ahead and put this in our calculator. Twelve fifty times E to the point zero five four and we're doing this over six years. So this would be our amount, $1,728.31. Okay, next on our problem, 11. Same formula, we have our amount is equal to our principal times E, E is Euler's number, to the power of RT. In this case, R is going to be 0 0.037, converting this percentage to a rate. So our amount is going to be, we're starting with $21,000, E to the power of 0 0.037 times our T, which is 10. So we put our calculator, 21,000 E to the 0 0.037. So for that, we get $30,402.40. So that would be compounding continuously and good luck with the odd even number of problems of demonstration you're learning and thank you for viewing.